Hi Kathy, so here's the bow, just a quick instructions. Um, this is a home of art bow and uh, I got to spend some time in Virginia with an archaeologist named uh, Eric Callahan and he had uh, the chance to be in Denmark to study the original bow fragments that were found in a bog that the bow was dated 10,000 years ago. Um, so I took measurements from that and made, made one. Um, so what's important is this side of the bow, the dark side, that's the bark side of the wood. This is the part of the bow that's always going to be facing away from you. Okay. This light side is the side that is going to face you when you shoot. So when you look down the bow, it looks counterintuitive, but that's because the bow has a back set into it, which stores more energy in the bow. So to string it also, <clears throat> there's two different ways. One is you take the bark side and make it face towards you and you hold the handle and you put the tip down here by your foot. You push with your top hand on the top limb with the strings right here underneath your hands and then you just pull the bow towards you and slip the string right into the knock. Just like that. And once you get the bow strong, what's really important is you don't just like pull, start pulling on it and stuff. You want to let it sit on the string. And you only want to shoot 29 inch arrows out of this bow. So your arrows are 29 inches. Um, the bow can only draw a certain amount. Um, also important is you never want to pull it back and let go of the string. It's called dry firing uh, without an arrow. Um, all the energy that's in the bow is just going to go straight back into the wood and it's just not good for the bow. So when you're done shooting, always unstring the bow and you just reverse the same process. You pull here the handle hand on the top limb, and then just unhook the string, just like that. And then to store it, I would just hang it somewhere like this, so the bark side of the bow is facing upwards. And that's about it. Um, just, uh, I wouldn't take it out in the rain. Um, it is wood. It's sealed very well. But um, uh, yeah, just store it in a nice, cool, dry place and it should last forever if you just take care of it. So um, yeah, enjoy, thank you so much.